Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here for a very unfortunate video as yeah, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection has officially dropped and needless to say, the reception for the game has not been all too strong. Rightfully so, as it has been a little bit of a disaster in terms of this release. We'll talk all about it, just a bummer to hear about this, but what can you do? So right now, as I'm recording this video, the game has dropped. As noted by Twitter user Sabaku, 10,000 people were playing on launch night. That's midnight when the game officially dropped. Only has three servers available that have 64 slots for a total of 200 players. So they anticipated 200 players. From what I know, more server space has been opened up recently and more people can get on. But it's a laggy experience, so we'll talk about that as well. Multiplayer doesn't work otherwise. Price tag of 35 USD. It is quite the robbery that it is being uh, called. Now, it's a robbery in the sense that, okay, yeah, obviously the online issues is really bad, and if you're buying this game, especially on PC, chances are the online play is why you were buying it, because it's not like this is some big remaster upgraded release, and the Battlefront games were already available in their classic forms on PC. Yes, if you're buying this game on Nintendo Switch, if you're buying this game on Xbox, if you're buying this game on PS4 or PS5, it's incredibly exciting because Battlefront 1 and 2 are two incredibly iconic games. A lot of you guys are super nostalgic with them, and it's the first time that the games are going to be available on those platforms. But if you're on PC... Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 go on sale all the time for $2 and change and around that range, 2 to $5. So you're paying a premium at $35 to buy this classic collection. So most the, the reason you're going to be buying it, chances are, is so you could take advantage of revitalized online servers. That is literally it if you're buying this game on PC. And at the end of the day, when it comes to the online play, it's a bummer because, you know, going into the release, obviously we didn't know that the gravitas of issues were going to be this bad. But however, we did know that the game was not going to have cross-platform play, which was a real big limiter for a game like this. And you can tell me to an extent, like, hey, this is a thrown together, you know, remastered collection. First of all, it probably shouldn't be thrown together when you're talking about iconic games like Battlefront 1 and 2. And I get it that there's big licensing fees involved and you can't do everything that the consumer base wants. However, anybody with half a brain cell knows that if the Battlefront Classic Collection was done justice, if it was done well, well, if it had cross-platform play and all of these elements baked into it, it would have been a very, very big seller. And I'm not even talking about you had to fully remake the game ground up, but some visual enhancements here and there I do think would take the game a long way. Just the absolute uh, bare minimum, to be perfectly honest. Bare minimum plus cross-platform play I think would have done a lot for the Classic Collection, and I wouldn't have been surprised. And working servers, of course, if all of that came together... I wouldn't be surprised if this collection sold millions upon millions of copies. It might end up still selling millions upon millions of copies because guess what? The Star Wars IP and Battlefront, especially from a nostalgic sense, is that big. That even though the game's reception on Steam is super negative, when this game is being promoted on like the PlayStation dashboard, the eShop, and the Xbox Store, and everything like that, it's a very... It's a game that's gonna... Uh, grab the eyes of a lot of people and you're talking about an audience that isn't terminally online either They're just you know coming home from a long day of work. They're popping off their PlayStation They're turning it on and they see Battlefront Classic Collection. They're gonna be like wow I played that game all the time as a kid $35 that's not too expensive. Let me go buy that right away And it's still gonna sell very well even with all of these issues And I guess it's part of it being like hey Maybe Aspire's looking at it like we could just slap together a lazy release and it's still gonna sell incredibly well well, and why do the additional work versus my thought process of, yeah, it's going to still sell very well, but why not do the additional work, make it as good as possible, and then it would sell even better. You would promote a lot of healthy dialogue online of people being excited about this game, of people revisiting this game. Like, again, if you're talking about Battlefront 1 and 2 with online cross-platform play, I think this would have gotten that uh, positive dialogue online that we've been talking so much about, that Helldivers 2 has done a phenomenal job with in terms of promoting discussion between the community and people talking about the game, sharing clips online. Now, Battlefront certainly isn't the type of game that Helldivers is, but you could still do it to uh, a smaller scale and have a lot of discussion online of people being like, wow, I'm going back to my childhood, the game's so much fun, oh, I'm playing with my boys on PlayStation and I'm on PC. 
so on and so forth, you could have that healthy dialogue going on. And maybe me just talking about all of this behind a ca uh, behind a microphone uh, on a commentary, it's easier said than done, but I do wonder, like, Yes, it is easier said than done, but is it that difficult to get the right developers in place, get the right uh, amount of time investment and everything like that to get cross-platform play, to make this collection as good as possible? And I'm not even saying you have to do, like, the best remaster of all time. What I am asking for, truly, is the bare minimum when it comes to remaster and cross-platform play. I get it that cross-platform play is a little bit above the bare minimum, but cross-platform play literally would have changed the game. But uh, at the same token, given that you're having server issues with just this small amount of players, if you add cross-platform play into the wormhole, yeah, it would be more difficult. But why not? It would sell so much better, uh, or at least it would sell better, maybe so much better. Maybe it's already going to do very, very well, but I digress. Uh, I just think it would have done incredibly well as far as that's concerned. And right now, as I'm recording this video, the game does have 1,525 Steam reviews. We, we talk about how uh, Helldivers 2, you know, we hope that game gets to a very positive reception. How about getting Battlefront Classic Collection out of a mostly negative reception? 1,525 Steam user reviews, only 21% of those reviews are positive, and you're seeing a lot of reviews trickle in. This was not like this simulations. Uh, first hour of launch, only have three servers to join, massing about 200 people rounded up. Seriously, WTF is this? I'll update this review if I can. Update was able to join one Heroes vs. Villains match, and the hero side was completely broken. No one could join, and Heroes team which resulted in no one to fight against. I figured this may have just been a Battlefront 2 issue, so I hoped I hopped over to play Battlefront 1 multiplayer. There's zero servers up for Battlefront 1. Just wow. I really do wonder how stuff like this just comes out and I get it it's because it's still gonna sell fairly well um it's Star Wars at the end of the day and I get it there's these big licensing fees attached to it but man if the if there's all this money this licensing fee everything like that attached to the game you would think that we could get it to a state that again I'm not even asking for the world I'm asking for what I consider to be the bare minimum working online servers like is that too much to ask for working online servers is that me asking for the world is me asking for cross-platform play too much I get it that's one step beyond the bare minimum but it's still like, it's a fair commonality in gaming today that we can get cross-platform play in a lot of these games, and if we had working online cross-platform play and literally nothing else, literally nothing else, it was just this, uh, you know, fine remaster... I think it would have been received so much better, and I think people would have been incredibly excited, and it would have made a world of difference in terms of the reception for Battlefront Classic Collection, but what can you do? I'm just one man complaining about this stuff online, and uh, it's just unfortunate, because while I didn't grow up playing Battlefront 1 and 2, I know, I know for a fact what Battlefront 1 and 2 mean to a lot of people. I know, I remember when Battlefront was announced to be getting a remake reboot by EA, how excited people got for that just... <laughs> <laughs> very small, uh, very, very quick trailer. I know what this franchise means to a lot of people in terms of nostalgia, in terms of how they grew up in gaming, and just to see this is what the collection ultimately ended up being, which I know a lot of us kind of had the foresight to see it coming, but I also had uh, hopes for a lot better than this, and uh, it's just, what can you do? This is the world we live in these days where these things do happen, and I feel like Aspire has been doing good work in terms of remasters. However, a lot of their stuff has been single-player stuff, Tomb Raider 1 through 3. Uh, you had Star Wars like Force Unleashed being ported to Switch. You had Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, stuff like that. Um, you know, when you talk about an online game, a little bit different, but that'll do it for me, guys. Again, unfortunate to hear about the Battlefront Classic Collection. Uh, you know, you'll always have the classic titles that you could get uh, super cheap, so probably the better route to go unless they do fix up the online play, which on the PC side of things is really the only reason people would pick this up. And even without cross-platform play, uh, that is is not turning out to be that good. So that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.